and love your enemies and forgive those who use and persecute you. The day of forgiveness is at hand. Forgive Herod? Forgive the Romans? Forgive them all. But the, the Romans have butchered hundreds of innocent people, young people, old people, lives ended without mercy, without trial. Surely you, you, you can't mean to forgive that, Master. We must meet the sword with the sword. All who take up the sword shall perish by the sword. But we must end the voice of weeping in Israel. Barabbas, your zeal blinds you to the truth. The new Jerusalem will not be built by murder and uprising. The wisdom of God will fill the land as water fills the sea. The lion will lie down with the lamb. There'll be no more killing or destroying. And the voice of weeping shall be heard no more. Make no mistake. The United States will hunt down and punish those responsible for these cowardly acts. Good master! Please tell me, master, what must I do to have eternal life? Go and sell all you have and give it to the poor and you shall have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. Sell everything. Everything I own. Everything my father slaved for. Everything. You cannot serve two masters, God and money. You see, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. I have no debt. I live in a 25-room mansion. I have my own $6 million yacht. I have my own private jet, and I have my own helicopter. And I have seven luxury automobiles, so I never get bored having to drive the same car more than once in a given week. Rolls-Royce, Bentley, BMW, Maserati, whatever turns you on. Put the loaves and the fish in the baskets and give them to the people. Well, go on. Why are you waiting? Do as he says.